so can you tell us a little bit about FriendFeed and what you do? So FriendFeed was a company I started along with a few other friends from Google about three years ago now. Oh, very cool. And so then we sold it to Facebook last year. Oh. So now I'm at Facebook and, and we're working on uh, some projects there. Oh, very cool. What are you doing at Facebook? Can you tell us any specifics? Uh, well, you know, the, the FriendFeed team is working on a number of different projects, a, a lot of which isn't released. Uh, one thing actually I did work on that was released just most recently is a feature where you can download all of your data uh, in a zip file, which, um, you know, it's kind of a small feature, but I'm excited about oh, it. No, that's because, very cool. yeah, it, it, it's nice, I think, to give people control and ownership of their data and it's something that I hope other sites will um, copy. Very and cool. And so can you tell us a quick anecdote about how you've personally been involved with a failure since we're at FailCon? <laughs> well, you know, I think as long as you learn a lot from the experience, it isn't necessarily a failure. Um, so I've done a lot of little things that didn't go anywhere, um, but they made really great learning experiences. So. The one that came to mind earlier is actually back in, all the way back in 1996, I had tried to write a web-based email system and uh, I didn't know what I was doing, so it, it, didn't, it didn't work, but the experience of, of basically failing to do that, I learned a lot of important lessons, and so then, you know, in like 2001 when I started work on Gmail, uh, I had a much better idea of how to do it right, and, and that one was ultimately, I think, fairly successful. So. Do you have any sort of like thing you do to uh, make yourself feel better when you're experiencing one of those, you know, glitches when you feel like you're failing? Like for instance, I'm quite a fan of going to parties and doing keg stands and um, I really like hot yoga. So if I'm in a room that's 110 degrees and I'm feeling crappy about myself, like five minutes later, I'm happy. Is there anything that you do to make yourself feel better? Yeah, absolutely. I think those are both good ideas. I, I Keg stands, I would go for that. Uh, but I, I also like actually just going outside. Anything outside I think is good. So I, I used to, Google was located right next to a park and then Facebook is the same way. So if I'm ever kind of like unhappy with something, I just go for a walk and, and uh, just kind of get outdoors. All right. And um, do you have any other, you know, p kind of pieces of advice that you'd like to give our entrepreneurs that are watching the show? Uh, just get started. Get started. That's uh, that's a good one. And learn from your mistakes, right? Yes. Great. Well, thank you so much, Paul. All right. Paul. Thank you.